guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a video that I have been pretty excited to make. It is kind of the follow-up because I told you guys that I bought this a while back and we are now going to talk about the performance of it. It is none other than the Halo Beauty Hair Skin and Nails Booster. This is Tati's multivitamin that she put out on the market and as you guys know, if you don't know full disclosure, I'm a big Tati fan. I think that she is an amazing kind of self-made woman. I think that she has just really great values and I really like watching her videos. I think that she does a great job. She's created a really great niche for herself. I enjoy watching her videos every single day and so I was very happy to support her, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to give this a good review just because I really like Tati. This is definitely a risk. Putting out a multivitamin is definitely a risk because it's like, you know, you can't just kind of see a before and after necessarily. You can't just like apply it on camera. You don't get that kind of like thumbnail wow factor necessarily. And the promises are kind of like time release. You know what I mean? Like you just kind of have to take it and see how it goes. So I've had this now for a little over two weeks. I don't necessarily think that I should be seeing every single possible benefit from it in two weeks since this is a one month supply, but a, I also don't think you should have to wait a month to see results on a multivitamin, so I should be seeing some results to be able to report back on. And two, I wanted to report back on this before I get all of my beauty counter stuff in the mail, because the beauty counter stuff I know is going to just completely, from the outside in, overhaul everything with my skin, and it's going to be fantastic, and so it would definitely kind of muddy the scientific results of me taking this. So, first of all, you take two of these every single day. I was taking one in the morning and one at night, and then in one of her videos she said she just takes two at a time in the morning. I really don't know if it matters, but I started taking two at a time in the morning, just like she said to, and I have definitely noticed some changes. We're going to talk about the ingredients, we're going to talk about the promises, we're going to talk about what I've seen. So let's go ahead and jump in. So on the Halo Beauty website, she does go through all of the ingredients and what they are promised to do. Vitamin C for uh, growth and strengthening hair. Vitamin D3 is supposed to kind of use your skin's way of essentially photosynthesizing, I guess, and uh, give your skin a healthy glow, which is vague. Apparently the combo of the bees and the biotin are what are really kind of like helping with the hair, skin, and nails factor here. Zinc is a key mineral vital for hair growth uh, to help support the prevention of hair loss. Copper is a mineral used in the production and maintenance of collagen. So she does claim that this is going to moisturize your skin from the inside out, which I thought was probably the most exciting claim because I've never heard of such a thing. Manganese uh, works in conjunction with vitamin C and biotin to help activate enzymes that are important for hair and nails. Catalase is an enzyme found in mostly all oxygen breathing plants and animals. It is an anti-gray enzyme and it helps break down hydrogen peroxide produced by our bodies into harmless water and oxygen. It is also thought that the anti-gray function of catalase may be the result of hydrogen peroxide interference with the production of melanin, a pigment that gives hair its color. That's one of the ones where she's gotten a little bit of criticism online. The jury's kind of out, but like she doesn't claim that it's going to turn gray hair back to a normal color. It's just sort of a preventive measure. So, I mean, the promises aren't really that crazy. Rose hip powder extract studies show improvement anti-aging, uh, induced skin conditions, and meth methyl sulfonyl methane. MSM is an organic sulfur found in our bodies and sometimes described as a beauty mineral or nature's collagen supplement. So back in Florida, <laughs> near my parents' house, there is a place called the Sulfur Spring or people call it Stinky Springs because sulfur smells like rotten eggs. But it is amazing for your skin. Like we would go swimming in that spring, our nails would grow. If you had anything like living under your skin, like a zit or something like that, it would come to the surface, like come to a clean head and then you could pop it and it would disappear. Like immersing yourself in sulfur or getting any kind of sulfur, like it's just an incredible kind of like purgative and it helps everything in your body kind of like refresh itself and kind of get its butt in gear. So totally believe in that. Saw Palmetto, this was another one that kind of got some criticism uh, online because apparently in large doses it can really affect your hormones, but she said that this was a small enough dose that it wasn't going to do anything like that. It says this powerful berry is a natural treatment for use with acne and hair loss. While Saw Palmetto may help men and women in slightly different ways, one of the main reasons it's beneficial for both sexes is due to the way it balances hormones. Saw Palmetto is a DHT blocker which can cause balding and thinning of the hair in men and in women DHT can cause skin to become too oily, causing bacteria to flourish and eventually lead to increases in acne. Reducing DHT levels might help hair growth and assist in a clearer complexion. So I like that they say might. So I will also speak to the hormone factor here and the acne clearing factor. 
Emblica of oh boy, Ambla. Uh, Indian gooseberry. It's honored for its anti-aging capabilities and rich spectrum of phytonutrients. Grapeseed extract contains plant compounds, uh, lots of antioxidants. Pumpkin seed powder, which I actually already take for my bladder. Source of A, E, K, zinc, selenium, and omega-3 fatty acids. It's also been shown to stimulate hair growth, promote a healthy scalp, and prevent the onset of premature hair loss. Um, it also apparently helps you strengthen the muscle that controls your bladder so that you don't feel like you have to pee all the time. So. That's what pumpkin seed extract does. And then the ingredient that she actually has patented is called Ceramide RX. Our proprietary and clinically proven Ceramide RX has phytoceramide extracted from rice. Phytoceramides are lipids that keep your skin hydrated and plump. Increases skin hydration, reduces itchiness and redness, minimizes small lines and wrinkles, promotes skin smoothness, fights signs of aging visibly and from within. Horsetail exerts both anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, antioxidant properties. Astaxanthin, astaxanthin, uh, it's one of the most powerful antioxidants available is derived from algae. L-glutathione is an important antioxidant used by every cell and tissue in the human body. And finally, alpha lipolic acid, often referred to as the universal antioxidant. ALA is a powerful antioxidant, aids in the control of produ oil production in the skin, helping to regulate the oil glands while providing good color and tone to the skin. So the largest amount of anything in here is going to be your amla, which is in uh, 200 milligrams, and then the sol palmetto, which is also uh, 160 milligrams. So as far as my hair, have I seen a really big difference? Not really. I don't really know that in two weeks you would be able to see a big difference in your hair. I am not, as a hairdresser, a member of the school of thought that your body can communicate with this down here. Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. I think that we can control oil, which does, you know, ultimately influence those kinds of things, but there's no like nerve communication, right? There's, you're not going to like clear your split ends by taking a vitamin. That's absurd. However, has it made my hair worse? No, it, it feels normal. Like it just feels really good. It's felt really healthy. My nails, my nails have grown like crazy. I don't know if that's just the biotin or if it's a combination of everything, but my nails, the last time we talked, when I first started taking this, my nails were destroyed. I had gone and gotten a very, very irresponsible, very expensive manicure in uh, Telluride, Colorado, and this girl just didn't give a crap about my hands, and she just wrecked my nails. And now they are, look at this, they are so long. Like, they just grew really fast, and they're really healthy. Don't mind this. This is like the worst nail polish ever and it all peeled off in the shower except for one little spot so I know it looks kind of busted. I am thankful to have kind of my nails back you know what I mean like I hadn't had really strong nails in a while and I'm in the process of kind of growing them off completely. I can see kind of the line of demarcation of where she damaged my nail so I know that it's not completely gone. It didn't like just happen to coincide with the fact that oh now my nails have completely circulated out that damage and so of course they're going to be in better shape now because I've cut off everything that was damaged by that bad manicure but like I can see that there's actually a line of demarcation on this nail only about to here is new nail and so the fact that it's made my nails stop peeling and it's made them grow like at light speed is awesome one thing that I have noticed that I'm not really sure what I can cite as the reason for is that my hormonal area on my face keeps breaking out. It may or may not be from using more AHA, BHAs and kind of drawing things out from under that have been kind of living there for a while, but I wasn't breaking out for a long time and now I've got a really nasty breakout on my chin in my hormone area and it does kind of worry me a little bit. I also feel like, <sighs> okay, I'm gonna throw this out here. I am pretty like boyish, okay? So like the way that my body is put together is pretty boyish. Like I can tell I just don't have as many female hormones as some people because I don't carry as much fat on my body. I have never had any problem with my weight. I also barely have any chest. I also have kind of a larger trunk than most. I don't really have that like tiny like pear shaped kind of waist um, and then hips or anything like that. When I work out, I get really strapping in the shoulders. I have a lot of upper body strength. I don't have that kind of like lower body kind of like leg strength that women typically have. And I can lean out really, really easily. So I think that I do have a little bit less kind of like feminine hormone in my body than some other people. And it really helps me kind of maintain my weight. And I 
like having that, but it does mean that I'm sort of fighting hair a lot. You know what I mean? Like I do have kind of a little bit over my lip. It's, it's kind of a trade-off. So what I have noticed since I started taking this is that there was a little adjustment in my body and I feel like I'm a little bit doughier. Is that weird? I think it's because there's a little bit of kind of like a hormone balancing aspect to this. It has thrown off my hormones and made my skin kind of break out. And it's also, I feel like, just given me, not in a bad way necessarily, but it did kind of, I feel, I just feel like it's a little bit harder for me to kind of like lean out. Like I've been really like cutting fat out of my diet and working out and stuff like that and I still can't find my abs and it's kind of interesting like I just I do I feel like the soft palmetto being in a fairly high dose it's not like a huge huge dose obviously I'm not like you know it this is not medicinal doses like there are medicinal doses that like doctors prescribe for people and I mean she's insisted that this is a very low dose but like obviously it's meant to it actually says it's meant to balance your hormones and what I think it's doing is adding a little bit too much uh, of a like feminine hormone for me and it's just not what I'm used to and I think that my body's kind of freaking out. The good thing is that my psoriasis is not freaking out as much. I would love to show you guys but you might just have to believe me. My chest is like covered in psoriasis usually. In fact I am going to the doctor soon to get on a new medication for my psoriasis because I'm getting married <laughs> and I can't have psoriasis all over my chest. My dress is, you know, just like a normal, like lower cut, you know, it's not like cleavage or anything because I don't own cleavage, but it does show my chest. And so I don't, I can't have like this, you know, rash all over the place. So I'm going to uh, switch off of Otesla hopefully and get on something that's a little bit stronger. But the thing that I have noticed from the sort of like inside out factor of the like what she says is going to moisturize your skin from the inside out. I have noticed that it has really anti-inflammatory like affected my psoriasis. Everything has just sort of been sloughing off. Like it's really crazy actually the way that, you know, I'll wake up in the morning and like things that are on my face or I think like just, just any kind of blemish or anything like that. Like it's like the cell turnover has been accelerated. So I can just kind of like just constantly just like exfoliate and slough off things that are sort of shedding from my skin. And I really notice it with my psoriasis because of course psoriasis is your body kind of artificially fighting something that it's imagined to be a threat. And so it builds skin up and I find that I can just kind of like peel it off. <laughs> it's really bizarre. And so I have really noticed a positive change there. I have also noticed like when I first started taking it, it was when I was actually like, well, I mean, it was kind of in the beginning. I had taken it a few days before that, but then I took a trip to San Jose and it's very, very dry in San Jose. I was on my period. And of course, traveling is just really, really rough. Like I had to just change my, my sleeping pattern and everything. I was traveling alone and I also drank a little bit while I was there because I was at a conference and it was just like, I don't know. I, I just, my whole, my whole routine got thrown off and you always expect that to be reflected in your skin. I was expecting to wake up just feeling sallow, everything to be sunken in, all of my lines to be exaggerated and everything, but I would wake up and my like 11s were kind of like plumped or like the underneath of my eyes was not sunken in purple or like my lips weren't all like dry or shrunken. Everything just looked a little bit healthier and a little bit more plump. I was always kind of waking up bracing myself to look like crap because I was like, I'm traveling and my body hates traveling and you know, it's just a perfect storm of, of like looking like crap. But I found that I didn't really have to wear much makeup while I was there. And even though I never even went outside, I know, I don't want to talk about it, but I was like stuck in this hotel for like three days. And still, when I would like look at myself in the mirror, my skin looked great. And I don't, like I said, I don't necessarily want to say that this is what's like breaking me out in my hormone areas, but it might be. I might stop taking it for a little while and just see if that's what the case is. But I will say that the one takeaway here is that it is effective. It definitely does what it says it's going to do. I think that I like my hormone imbalance though. <laughs> my hormone imbalance like works to my advantage in so many ways of kind of like keeping me thin and fit and like the body that I like being in that it's not really worth it necessarily for me to take something that's going to like fix it because I'm so used to it at this point. So I mean, it didn't make my boobs grow. If it made my boobs grow, we would have had a contender. But I do, I think that this is very effective if you don't have those kinds of like hormone issues. Like if you think that, you know, maybe you could use the, the help, maybe you already are breaking out in your hormone area and this might be just the little kick that it needs. If you do kind of like really hate having a little bit of kind of like darker hair over your lip or something like that, this does make a difference. It will kind of like chill that out a little bit. It just makes everything a little bit more vellus, a little bit more feminine. And I don't know how it would work on a dude. 
I don't know. But for a woman, I definitely noticed that it did kind of like try to override my hormones a little bit. I also had the easiest period of my life. I should mention that. I just thought of that. I did not think about that at all. I did not have a cramp to speak of. It was like my period just happened with like no warning. It like entered with a whimper, left with a whimper. It was the weirdest thing ever. I was like, okay. Whether the effects are something that you want, that is up to you. But if you are looking for a daily vitamin that is going to make your skin feel better and it might correct a little bit of your hormonal imbalances and it's definitely going to make your nails grow really fast, this is awesome and it's only 40 bucks. I mean, yes, with shipping, I think she probably will end up kind of like dialing back shipping once she gets to scale, you know what I mean? Once enough people order it, but I had to pay shipping, it was 50, but I just, I think that it's still kind of worth it. I'm not gonna stay on it necessarily because my goals are different. I want this breakout to go away and so I'm going to see if getting off of it kind of gets rid of this breakout and I will update you guys when that happens. But also, I really like my body being its kind of lean, fit self and I don't really think that like messing with my hormones is necessarily something that I wanna keep doing. Plus, y'all, <laughs> My beauty regimen is already expensive enough, okay? I'm actually really excited because someone made me aware of, this is kind of taking a hard left here, but when we talked last Friday about a charity that I want to donate some of my proceeds to uh, for Beauty Counter, we talked about this project, oh my god, I can't remember what it's called, but basically they donate like gently used makeup to women's shelters because y'all, I have so much gently used makeup that I like can't give to anybody like in a giveaway or something because that's like I have a responsibility to only give away kind of untouched things but if there's sort of this understanding that like all I did was swatch this you know what I mean then that's totally I, I want to give that stuff away it's way better than just throwing it away because there's just like I don't even get PR from other brands I buy all this stuff on my own but I still have more makeup than I will ever use that said my beauty regimen is extensive and this has been a pretty cool thing to try, but I don't think it's going to be a mainstay in my routine going forward. I just think that maybe this is some black magic that I don't need to be playing with because it's really, it's really potent stuff. <laughs> so I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. I think that she has done a very good job of clearly communicating what the effects will be, what the ingredients are, what the possible risk factors might be, and who you should talk to about that if you're breastfeeding or anything like that, because this does have potent properties that can do all the things that we just talked about. So no tea on Tati. I, no tea on Tati. I don't think that she has done anything wrong here. I think that this is actually a really beautiful product, and I think that for a lot of people it's going to be very effective. It's just not really for me. So guys, I hope that you appreciate me kind of reviewing this for you. I will again give you guys an update maybe in a couple weeks after I stop taking it, let you know if my face kind of stopped breaking out because I am no longer like minstrel right now. My skin should be like amazing right now. And the fact that I've got this really gnarly uh, like hormonal breakout is kind of weird. So I will let you know about that guys. And let me know if you have been tempted to try this or if you have tried it and what the effects have been for you because I guarantee like this is just gonna affect people in different ways like I just I, I just I want to know I want to know how it's kind of affecting people so um, guys if you enjoyed this and if you're glad that I kind of review interesting products like this then give this a thumbs up if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel hit the button down below and subscribe I would love it if you did I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will see you in the next one bye